What's up, Entre Friends? So in today's Click Fix, I want to talk a little bit about the two-step uh, order form. Now, we've done videos before that showed you how to do progressive forms or how to do multi-step forms all on the same page. Um, but the issue before was always that you weren't actually collecting the data, or in this case, you weren't actually collecting the email address when they were filling out that first step. And that's always been something that was a little bit of a hurdle um, in terms of the, the programming and is one of the last frontiers for being able to do what some of those other uh, landing page designers can do. And what I'm talking about here is in a two-step situation where you're asking for the information first, and in this case, we we're talking about maybe a free plus shipping offer. It was at this point here where we weren't actually collecting that email address. So if for whatever reason, the lead was not doing what you needed them to at the beginning, which was giving you their information. And then all of a sudden they get to the next step and they decide that they're not going to actually purchase. Right? So before you were actually not collecting that lead data, but now with this, we're actually able to go ahead and collect that. Even if, even if the person doesn't actually follow through with the purchase. So we're just going to throw it in some stuff here, right? So when I click this button here, right, you can see that it did a quick redirect, right? But really what it did is it just went over to page two for all intents and purposes. And here in the contacts, when we refresh, we can see that we actually collected that lead. All right. So in this lead, we got the initial information. We got the address and, and all that stuff. So if I were to abandon this page now, we could still market to this person. Right. But let's say that the person went ahead and did all of the steps, which is in this case two, and went ahead and purchased. Right. And got the bump and everything. Right. And I said, go ahead and ship my bottle. takes a little bit longer when it's on a sandbox account. All right. And so that went ahead and went through. Now here, the same lead, we went ahead and we come over here. Let's see if we have to refresh it or not. Nope. We come here to purchases and we can see that it actually did attach that purchase to this lead. All right. So I'm hoping that you can see the power here before if you did a multi-step form using some of our short codes and, and all that, you would have the ability to create that short code and you'd have the ability to keep everything on the same page, but you would lose out on the ability to actually market to anybody who dropped off after step one. Now this isn't just useful for two step, um, checkout pages or free plus shipping offers. This is useful in a variety of different scenarios where maybe you're having a multi-step checkout form on a traditional checkout form. Um, in step one, you're getting their contact information. Um, this, what this does is it eliminates the need to have to use pop-up windows with the traditional two steps where you're kind of getting their name and email in a light box and then it redirects them to a full checkout page. Now you can build that all on the same page and you can have them move through the process uh, while still gathering that data. Now, another place that this could definitely be useful is when you're doing maybe uh, quiz or survey funnels. And if you collect the information at the very beginning, which is their name and email, well, then you'll be able to actually track each step so you can see where the drop off might be. Let's say you have a progressive form that has five different questions on it. Well, all of a sudden, if you flip it around and you're getting their contact information first, or you're sending existing contacts to a form that's a progressive form, then you're going to be able to actually track and understand which question is causing the biggest drop off and then adjust the flow or change the question around or change the order around in order to more effectively get the answers that you need uh, out of that questionnaire. So let's take a quick look at how this was set up in the actual um, editor here. So uh, first thing you'll notice is that we've done separate blocks. Uh, so we've done one set of blocks for desktop and one set of blocks for mobile. Um, that's simply a design choice because we wanted it to display 
um, in different ways uh, based on the device. So on desktop, it's just like you saw it. Obviously, it was only showing step one uh, until you get to step two. Um, but then on the mobile version, we wanted this to be underneath the video and all that. Uh, but when you're designing stuff, you'll be able to set this up however you want. But the important thing here is what's under the hood, and that is inside of the custom code. So uh, forget about the mobile menu. We went over that in a different video on how to create the little mobile menu. Uh, but we're looking at here the two-step uh, ghost opt-in, we call it, uh, for the desktop. Now the magic here is in the sync fields, all right? So this is what ties step one to step two. And all this is, is I'll show you on the front end, all this is is wherever there's an email field, we're going to go ahead and grab the value from the field that gets filled out, and we're going to populate that in all of the other hidden fields that exist on the page. And I'll show that in a second. Next line here, 18, all it does is it hides the um, second block, right? So you can see that block number two is not being shown here. So that's step two um, is the ID here for the block. Then we have just an anchor um, that allows us to navigate to and from um, the different steps. If somebody maybe makes a mistake on step one, they can go back um, and fill out that information. Then all we have to do is set up a little submit anchor that will show the block when the person clicks the submit button. It's going to actually submit the form without the redirect. And then it's going to hide step one. It's going to show step two and hide step one. All right. And then this is just saying if somebody is on step two, then make sure that you show step two and you hide step one. The mobile section does exactly the same thing. Um, that's just for that second set of blocks. Now, on the front end, the only thing we needed to do um, was we needed to make sure that we gave this. Um, I mean, you can put anything you want here in the in the custom URL. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. This is just an internal thing that checks for stuff. That's the only thing we changed here. And then on step two, that second block, the only real change here, and this is the important one, is that we had to add a hidden field that was email, right? And what that did is it communicated with the short code, where uh, again I explained that whenever there, whenever it found an email field on the page. What it does is it goes ahead and it populates that with the email field that the visitor uh, fills out. And this is what allows us to tie in multi-step forms, no matter how many steps. We're just doing two steps here, but this could be a three, four, five, fifty step form. And as long as you have the sync field, uh, sync email on each of those blocks, uh, which would obviously mean in each of those um, form sections or form steps, then it's going to go ahead and sync the email address each time and it's going to tie all of that data back to the contact record. Now it sounds much more complicated than it is. Um, I encourage everybody to jump on, click fix, grab the uh, free account, go ahead, start playing with the short codes and uh, drop me a direct message if you need any help and I'll be happy to jump in there and help you set up your own multi-step uh, form flow in order to be able to more effectively market to your leads and to create cooler, more streamlined checkout experiences for all of your potential customers.